Here's the two seam fastball that bears in a bit too tight. It's ball four. Next up for the Strohs, Carlos Correa. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Correa. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. Good power curveball there, and he's in control 0 and 2. Runners on first with one down. Popped up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. So digging now in now, Kyle Thank Tucker. You. Kyle Tucker. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Lifted the other way out to left center. Meadows moving back. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Bottom of the third now. And that'll bring forth and the veteran outfielder, the Kevin Kiermeyer. The center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Liner in there for a base hit. Batting ninth. Not your stop. Willie. Adamus. Stepping in now. Willie Adamas. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. Nobody out, runner on first. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat-mouse game continues on. Springer has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Ready for another chance? Michael Brasso. He reached on a single in his first try. From the stretch. Runner at first here, one man out. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. A 1 1. Lifted in the air to center field. There to play it is Springer, and that's out number two. At the plate, now Brendan back. Lau. He did number his job eight. and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. Yeah, Matty, a productive A.B. last no, time, no, no doubt. No. But here with two outs. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Now batting the designated hitter. Nelson. And Cruz. that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Back goes Springer at the track. The wall. Adios. Pelota. Now bad at the plate Let's now Austin Meadows. Austin Meadows and there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out nothing in one hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat and this misses the outside corner so it's knotted up at one and one now here it comes this is on the ground over to first and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. All set for the start of the fourth. And digging in the bat next, the Cuban import, the Yuli Gurriel. First the pitch of the at-bat. Gurriel. The 1-0. -oh. 2-0. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. 
You know, Matty, I'll never understand this. You work so hard throughout the course of the season and course of this game to get in 1-0, 2-0, 3-1 counts. Guarantee yourself a fastball 80 to 90% of the time, and he takes it. Just can't understand the methodology there. And that's through for a hit. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. Up next to the Astros, the catcher. Martin Chaz Rowe takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Standing in now, Martin Maldonado as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 1. Rowe was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Hits are now even at four apiece. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this the afternoon. Number four. So a runner George. at first with one man gone, and former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. From the stretch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 0. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. 2 and 0 count, here it comes. 2 and 1. Two runs, four hits. No errors in the ball game for the Astros to this point. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Meadows will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. The batter. Here's the second baseman, the second baseman. Jose Altuve. He Jose hit a sack fly earlier. Altuve. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. Slider laid off for a ball. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Wow, that pitch wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. If I'm the pitcher, I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one. Hot shot down the line. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. The batter, number 44, designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Into the box, Jordan Alvarez, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. A 2 0 count to the Astros' DH. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Number two. So striding in, Alex Bregman, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. He's set. Here it comes. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. Hey, when a pitcher's put in a tough spot, he's usually going to go to what got him here, and that's this guy's slider. Expect to see that more often. Comes set. The 0-1. Hit down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. And obviously a big spot here with the bases loaded, so he'll step out to rethink things. Here's the 0-2. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. 
that's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away, and when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. And he is back safely at first, and that was almost trouble. From the stretch, the one-two. Still a ball and two strikes. A one-two pitch. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And Leading next to battle will be the outfielder, Hunter Renfro. The right fielder, Hunter Renfro. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. And deep to right. Racing back the right fielder to the track. Adios, pelota. Into the box the now, base, Nick Ahmed. Nick. As he swings oh, and man. lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. Tucker is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Now Here now is Mike Zanino Kepner. comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He go. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Swing and a liner. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Now batting. The center Standing field. in Kevin Kiermaier. Kevin. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermaier now. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. The batter, number four. So runner at first Good here job. with two gone in the Willie. inning. And up next Adamus. will be Willie Adamas. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up drifting into shallow right field. And Altuve will put the squeeze on this one, and that ends the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Here's the 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. The batter, number one. Stepping into the box, Carlos Correa. He struck out and popped out in his two previous trips. Popped up, Rousseau over to his left. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now back. So bases are empty here with two gone. Kyle. And in to hit next Tucker. will be the outfielder, Kyle Tucker. First pitch coming. Here it is. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Grounded to first. Fielded cleanly. 
And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So Tampa's batting order turns over and set to go. Michael Brasso, one for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. Now the pitch. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1-0. Hard on the ground towards short. He's right there. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Digging in, Brendan Lowe. He singled his last time up. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. And a front foot curveball here that misses down and in for ball two. The two one. And right into the shift. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. Throw gets him, two down. Here's now Nelson back. Cruz now. He had that big three-run homer in his last appearance. Cruz. Most good breaking ball hitters will hit good breaking balls. And that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch that was down in the zone. And he handled it really nice. Counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. And that one's taken the outside bat. for a ball. They walked field. him. So no one, two, three oh, inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. From the stretch, breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Hard hit ball to second. And there's his first base hit in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting right fielder, Hunter Renfro. And he doesn't want him to get off to a big lead out there at second, so he steps off to look him back. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. To the plate now, Hunter Renfro. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. The 0 1 pitch. Line drive base hit. Put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Now batting, third baseman, Nick Ahmed. Chris Davinsky answers the call to pitch now here in a big spot. Three. He inherits a bases Number loaded seven. jam, but needs just Chris. one out to get out Davinsky. of it. Nate Lowe will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded Pin with two out base. in the inning. Number 35, Nate. Whoa. 
took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt but handled quickly behind the plate. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. And he falls behind 0-2. 0-2 in two. Here it is. And the slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. To two balls and two strikes now. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. The 2-2 pitch. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Up next for Tampa Bay. So here's Mike the Zanino, Tampa. one of the bigger Mike. spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. G-Man Choi will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Your attention, please. Pink hitting for the Rays. Number 26, G-Man Choi. I've got him reaching a bit too far after that one at strike one. Fouled off. And before the 0-2 pitch, he'll step out of the box here to regroup. Fouled away. Five runs, eight hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And they get the force at home. Whatever works as the side is retired. Digging in, Yuli Gurriel. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. Number 10, Yuli F.D. Gurriel. the stretch here's the pitch ball one good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one Guriel behind a ball and two strikes that's how you open up the outside part of the plate pound two balls in and they get right back outside nice pitch down the third baseline but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two now here's the pitch well hit but also well fouled into the seats and left now another one two grounder down the line at third and this is going to be a foul ball. Now time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. And he'll finally now just batting. wear him down the as catcher. this one swung on and missed for the first out. Maldonado. Now 
Josh Reddick. Reddick. We'll move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the Number inning. 22, Josh Reddick. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him nothing in one. swinging strike and now it's 0-2. And, and he'll step out for a moment to reassess things here on an 0-2 count. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Stays alive, still 0-2. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. George Springer, the next to hit. George Springer. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. The 1 1 home is taken for strike two. A swing and a ground ball to third. Foul. Misses ball two. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. of the inning now and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will Lead hit next for the Ray the center fielder Kevin Kiermeyer Ready. Here's the first offering. High and deep to right. Tucker looks up. And that one is gone. Now, In now, now Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And a ball diving into the dirt, a swing and a miss. Ooh, that was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. Got him. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Up Michael Brasso. He's working on a third base Joey man. Wendell will come on Michael. now as the pinch hitter. Brasso. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the Blake race. Blake Taylor, a six-foot, two-inch left-hander, jogs Joey. in to take over on the hill. Wendell. Now pitching for the Astros. Number 62, Blake Taylor. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1.
popped up. Taylor with a little do-it-yourself play, and there are two down. Now, now in the box, Brandon Lowe, eight. one for two on his line so far in the game. First delivery to him on the way. Yep, Not close the with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 and now. Now here's the pitch. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. I'm out. And with a big pitch here, he'll step off and rethink things. Driven deep at the wall. It is gone. Late now, Nelson Cruz. As he'll follow one yeah, into the there. dirt and come up empty for the first Cruz. strike. He's working on a one for two game so far. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. You know, I'm not sure he didn't throw that pitch out of the zone on purpose. They've been swinging at pretty much everything he throws, so why not give it a shot? The 2 1. He is swung on and missed. Chased the fastball that time. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Hard liner to center field. Springer is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Anthony Banda is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Jose Altuve. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. One and zero pitch on the way. That swung on and missed. We're even at one and one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And it's fouled away. On the ground to the left side. And that's through into left. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. The batter, number 44, designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Standing in now, Jordan Alvarez. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Fouled off. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a three-one count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? The third baseman. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Alex Bregman. No thump out of him in this game so far, as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. Fouled away. Here's the 0 1. 
Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. And maybe trying to get him off stride at the plate, so he'll step out and ask for time. In the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. From the belt, the pitch pulls this one in the air out to left. Meadows has it, and there's one away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. The left fielder, number 43. Here's Michael Brantley. He struck out Brantley. swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. The way he's been able to command his fastball, those first two pitches, don't be shocked if he goes back in there again or goes up under his chin or nasty slider down and away. He has opened up his full arsenal. So next to swing the bat will be bat. Carlos Correa, who could really bat. use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. One, no and he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Oh, and this right is there. a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Ready once again, Kyle Tucker. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Miles Straw will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. Oof, looks like he's chasing butterflies with that swing. It's 0-1 looking to cut into that big deficit they've got in front of them. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. Renfro is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Austin Meadows. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. The left fielder, Austin Meadows. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. The 1-0 home. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. Into the box, Hunter Renfro. Right now look out Hunter. as he's got to hit the deck here. Renfro. It's ball one. So far, two for three in this one. 
Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Stepping up to the plate, Nate Lowe. Nate Lowe. First delivery to him on the way. The 1-0. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. There's one. On to first, a double play. Standing now in, pass. Michael Perez. Number He's seven. newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. He's set and the pitch. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. After that off-balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0-2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat visualizing hitting a home run and he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there if I'm pitching I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed full count now and that's into the corner a foul ball and right Softly hit out to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. New inning set to get underway. And here comes the first baseman, Yuli Gurriel. Gurriel. Now the pitch. Hit down the third baseline. But this is foul for the first strike. The wind up and the 0-1. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. From the wind up, the 1-1 pitch. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. The one two swung on in the dirt for the third strike and he makes the throw to first Guriel is retired and there's one away now batting. the catch so striding Garrett. forward now Garrett Stubbs and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago pitch on the way bat explodes as this has popped up. On to first, and there were two down. So two gone now in the Houston eighth, and that brings in George Springer. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Well, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey. That's the life of an umpire. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. High chopper to third. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer, and he'll start and out the bottom of the eighth the inning. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned Kevin. around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. First pitch of the at bat. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like that. Throw is up the line as it gets away. The batter, number one, good stop, Willie. At the plate, Adamus. Willie Adamas. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. 0-1, here it comes. 
Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He pulls into third safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. The third baseman. Joe Wendell digs in now. And he fouls this one off. He popped out in his first trip. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Springer is there. Let's see if they try it. And he will get in to score. And it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Number eight. So no one on now after the sack fly. And stepping in the long ball threat, Brandon Lau. Here comes the first pitch. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Up Digging in once there. again, Nelson Cruz. He hitter. lined out in Nelson. his last trip, so looking for better Cruz. fortunes here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Perfect. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. And boy, they are now howling over Let's in that it. first base dugout. Okay. They think that was intentional, and I've got to say, I think I do too. And now you see the home plate umpire coming out, and the message has been sent. He's going to warn both benches. And that's the right thing to do by any umpire, Matt. Warn both sides and put them on notice that they're not going to put up with anything going forward in this game. It does put some added pressure on the pitchers to be accurate when they're pitching inside because even a mistake could lead to an ejection now, but that's just the way it has to be. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Austin Meadows. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot. But listen, oh a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B. But listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there, pretty much unable to hit any of his spots, and now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. That gets down, and the inning will continue. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Right fielder, Hunter. Brad Peacock comes on the pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. For Houston, number 41, Brad. Stepping in now, Hunter Renfro. As he overcommits here to a slider out of the zone, one strike to count. Barely able to make contact, down 0 2 now. Peacock. Offers up perhaps one of the nastiest sliders around, and it won't be uncommon. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Now at the plate, Jose Altuve, and his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Jose Altuve. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swung on and hit deep to left center. Back goes Kiermeyer at the track. And this will bang up against the wall. High throw and it's over his head. The batter, number 44, designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. So now to the plate, Jordan Alvarez. The third baseman, number two, Alex Oliver Drake Redman. comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. Drake was born in Massachusetts. He throws a splitter, a four-seam fastball, and a cutter. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. That's what you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. 
And it's fouled away. The 0-2 once more. I got to one and two. None out, runners at first and second. To two balls and two strikes now. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a steal, lot of steal, pitches steal. too. Now the double oh, steal is on oh, here. But any thoughts of a throw will be academic here. It's ball four, and the bases are suddenly it. loaded so now with still nobody Michael. out. Brantley. He's set. Here it comes. In the air out toward right field. Renfro is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And a surprising decision there as he holds on at third base. Here's Carlos Correa now. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch coming. Here it is. step off the rubber here and just look him back to third and now we'll take a moment here at home plate as he asks for time set to deliver on nothing and two here it comes high in the air out to center field Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. The relay throw to third now, but he's safe as a run will score on the play as well. Coming to the now plate now, is. Miles Straw. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. No balls and a strike to count. behind 0 and 2 now now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet he's going, he's runner going, goes going. pitch is high One the throw and no throw in fact as he'll just hang on to it last strike now for Houston lifted down the line and left but no one can get to this one as it's down for a foul ball inside the visitors bullpen. Now a swing and he pops him up and this should do it. Lowe is there to make the catch and with that the ball game is over. 10-3 at the end of this contest. The Rays.